Alrighty, after hooking up, uh, putting my steering box and everything. Yeah, it's full of cobwebs. Anyway, after hooking up my steering box, that's what I put right there to hook it up. I've got that welded to the uh, other end so that I can hook it up to my Toyota steering. <clears throat> and then I've got this. I flipped it around so that it would actually be on the opposite side. And I've got this right here. I've got it ordered a part that's going to go in there that will actually not have a ball joint in it or bushing. So it will allow me to hook up all the steering. Brake lines, here's kind of how we got it going. You got the metal that goes into that. I've got it teed right there, and I'm going to put some things on to make the brake lines stay where they're supposed to. And then I got that run up into my brake booster. Then over here on this side, I've got it ran into a union. Same principle, I got it run from there, and then I got it going into a union. And I'm gonna have to put <clears throat> some stuff to make it stay put. And that's how that's hooked up. And up here, I've got a one wire distributor. Uh, the bottom one, I'm going to have a little bit of a challenge, but I've got my intercooler. I kind of put a just a little square piece of tubing, half, or I guess that's probably like a half inch or so, or maybe five sixteenths. But anyway, I've got that. Got my intercooler lines. I got it bolted basically to the radiator, and right there. I've got that so I can hook up my fuel pump. My one wire distributor is going to be running off of that too. And then this big wire right here, I'm going to have that hooked up onto a toggle switch so that when you kill the truck, you kill it all. Or I may find me a wire somewhere coming out of the ignition setup so that when I turn the key off, it shuts everything off. I'm, I'm trying to keep everything straight and simple. And then the, the cool thing about this truck, or I think anyway, if I have to do any motor work, transmission work, so if I have to change spark plugs, there they are right there. I can get hold of all of them. If I need to check and make sure there's nothing leaking, there's my transmission lines. I, I, I ain't even got to crawl into the truck, check, make sure that stuff. So if I ever go to pull this transmission out or pull the motor out, I can get to every single boat pretty well on this without ever having to crawl under. Starter's right there. <clears throat> now this is my butter truck that I've been building for the last year. And it's taken a little bit of time to find stuff. It's, all I've got left now is... That tie rod that I've got to hook up and the other radiator hose, belt, and that's pretty much it because the fuel lines and everything's hooked up, fuel pump. I got a fuel tank on the truck. <coughs> and this is setting on half ton axle, so it's a pretty solid setup underneath this truck.